So a real life OK Corral is broken out and you're right in the middle of it. What are you going to do? What's going on my ghost squad? Welcome to another edition of Range Time. My name is Trey with Ghost Tactical. And today, guys, what we're going to talk about is uh, a crazy scenario that I hope never happens, but you never know. Uh, a shootout, OK Corral style, breaks out when whether you're directly or indirectly involved, you've been put right in the middle of it. So we're going to talk about ways to uh, defend yourself and put yourself in a position where you'll be able to walk away alive and uh, hopefully uninjured at all. Uh, before we get going, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching the videos and Tactical Tuesdays on uh, YouTube and GunChannels.com. But if you haven't, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there and um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Once again, guys, we're, we're talking about an OK Corral shootout scenario. And what we're going to do today is I've got a, a scenario set up down here in the range where... Um, you're walking around and all of a sudden a shootout begins and you don't have to be directly involved but we've got a shootout down there and we're going to have a couple different areas of different types of cover and different types of stances to get into while in cover uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started we'll have uh, three strings of fire here uh, you'll have one you'll need um, 18 rounds total three rounds of uh, three mags of six and we'll, we'll get it going here, but we're gonna get it set up. So we're gonna get our eyes and ears on and get the range set up and we'll see in a minute. All right guys, so we're out on the range. We got set up. We have our one target. It's gonna be the uh, imminent threat target. Uh, so we're gonna have that one as every shot we take is gonna be that one target. Uh, in, in a gunfight, it might be more than two or three or four, but we're gonna say in this scenario, guys, we've got one guy that's just going after people, whether it's at a grocery store or a bank or in the middle of the road or whatever the scenario is, we've got a crazy guy that's going out there that's decided he wants to uh, take some human lives. And we're gonna not only stop that from happening, we're gonna take his life and send him where, where he needs to be going as quickly as possible. So um, what we're looking for here, guys, is surviving. And understand that when you're in a scenario of a gunfight or any scenario you're having to uh, engage another individual, um, you never want to, one, stand still until you don't want to be in a position of cover for very long. Once they know where your cover position is and your, your cover has been compromised, you're going to have to move. So what we're going to talk about here is we have three little stations set up, all right? So drill number one is we're going to be just kind of engaged in an atmosphere and we hear gunshots. So all we're going to do at first is find the, fir the first piece of cover. So we're going to use the chair over here on the right and use it as something that's low to the grounds, a bench or, or, or something like that where you can't stand behind it and you can't even kneel behind it, we're gonna have to lay down behind it. So we're gonna figure out the best way to get under cover, okay, and still engage the target. And once our, our position has been compromised, then it's gonna be time to move to step two. So um, here we go. All right, so we just did the drill. We had to lay down behind cover. So at this point, our position has been compromised. All right, we've taken our six shots, so we're gonna assume we have a six round gun. So we're gonna have to reload again. Now, every time you reload in a real world scenario, you always want to reload your gun from behind cover. There's no reason for you to be out in the open while you're reloading. You can't do anything. If you're out in the open, you want to be prepared looking around, but you want to be prepared to fire your gun at any time. So you always want to reload behind cover. So we're going to pick the next stage up is we're reloading behind cover and we're going to move to position two, which is we'll say it's a bigger chair or a trash can or something. 
okay, that we can kneel behind. So we're gonna get down on our knee and we're gonna engage the target here. Once we've taken our four, five, six shots, our position has been compromised again, then we're gonna move on to the next step. So have fun shooting. All right, I hope I didn't tear your knees up too bad on position two. So we've gone from position one, which we're lying down. Position two, we're on our knee. All right, so our compromised position has been given up right here. So now it's time to move again. Before we move, what do we do? We reload. So go ahead, change magazines. Make sure that your gun is ready to go when you're moving. As we're moving, we always wanna keep that muzzle obviously pointed down range and towards the target. But we're moving tactically, but we're also being extremely safe, making sure we know where our muzzle awareness is, what's out there, who's out there, make sure we know who's in, in behind our target and who's in between us and the target. Always make sure we understand where we are. Also remind you guys, as you're moving, okay, as you're moving, it's empty, never move tactically with your finger in the trigger, all right? Always move here, you can always get it ready to go. Okay, we're moving here. You know, some people keep moving out this way. You know, I'll, I'll probably keep it close in here, or if I have to turn and look, I'll keep it facing. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do it, but keep your finger off that trigger, guys. That's very, very important. So um, anyways, so we've moved from a kneel. Now we're going to number uh, position number three, and we're gonna use this target as a wall or a refrigerator or something that's tall that we can actually stand up behind and we're able to shoot from around the cover to our target. All right, so have fun. Well, we've gone through all three drills. Probably a little worn out right now. It's kind of hot and sunny right here, but it's all good. We're training, so it's everything's happy. Happy-go-lucky time. So we've gone through individually all three, three stages. What we're gonna do now is in a real-world speed scenario, you're gonna need three mags with six rounds in it. Either have a mag pouch or put them in your pocket, whatever you would normally do, okay? But we're gonna go through the entire stage without stopping. So we're gonna be confronted, we're gonna get behind our first cover, lay down, get our rounds off, reload from behind cover, move to position two very quickly, get our rounds off. Hell, that scared the hell out of me. Get our rounds off on position two again, all right? Position's been compromised, reload, move to position three, make sure we're in a good cover position, get our rounds off, okay? It doesn't have to be fast, you don't have to be timed. All you're trying to do is get from point one to point two to point three without getting killed, keep a good muzzle safety awareness and engage our target. So here we go. Man, that wore me out, but I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's 
today's range time. Like I said, I hope none of this ever comes to fruition, but if you ever are stuck in a situation where a gunfight breaks out, both directly or indirectly, and you're caught in the crossfire, maybe this will help understand different things you can do to survive. Like I said, guys, uh, survival is key. Live to, uh, to live another day. So uh, thank you again for everyone for watching. Let's get a, a quick shout out to Code One Ammo. Uh, Kyle Osborne and James and Bill and all those guys are at Code One Ammo. Phenomenal, phenomenal custom loading. Anywhere from 380 to uh, 300 blackout. Uh, anything and everything in between. Uh, 44 mag, 357 sig, 40 Smith and Wesson. Everything you could probably want to get, they can make. Uh, so if you need to get uh, some ammo, go ahead and email Kyle at Kyle at Code One Ammo.com. Once again, I want to uh, invite everybody to uh, come join Gun Channels, guys. If you're not if you're not a member of Gun Channels, it's it's free. Uh, if you haven't been over to Gun Channels yet, come on over there. It's a great gun community. You're going to be surrounded by people that uh, want to talk guns and everything gun community. Uh, we have a good time. There is a 24-hour live chat uh, that you can either watch or be a chat in the the, the chat box. Or you can just go ahead and jump in on the Hangouts call and be part of the action. So uh, we welcome everybody to Gun Channels. Uh, most of your favorite live shows are on Gun Channels as well. They simulcast a lot of those, um, including mine, Tactical Tuesday. Uh, Tactical Tuesday comes on every Tuesday at 7 Central, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, uh, live on YouTube and simulcasted at the same time on GunChannels.com. So I invite everybody to, to uh, Tactical Tuesday and also to the Gun Channel side. We'd love to have you. Other than that, guys, I can't wait to our next video. And thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, again, click that subscribe button and uh, show us some love and support. Uh, until next time, guys, Semper Fi. Hey, guys, Ghost here. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Until next time, happy shooting.